Hello, it's Gem Games here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a system that allows you to turn camera with your uh, finger, like with swiping for uh, mobile games. Okay, let's get to work. First, let's go to the project settings and let's search for a touch. Always show touch interface. Let's put this on and use mouse for touch. Okay, now we are done here. Let's go to the uh, third person blueprints folder. Let's create a new blueprint class, player controller. Let's call it touch controller or something like that. Let's open it and let's just show mouse cursor. Put it on, compile, save. Let's go back then to the third person game mode. Let's change the player control control, I don't know how to say, to touch control, okay, let's save and go back, now let's go to the, actually let's first check, yeah, okay, let's go to the third person character blueprint, and first let's actually make the cheese, let's disconnect this jump, Actually, let's just remove those, okay? Now let's make some little space for the camera input thing. Let's move these here. Let's disconnect these and actually let's save these and move these to here on the corner, yeah? And now let's remove this. Let's search for touch, and here is this only, that only says touch. Okay, let's put it here. Now let's uh, split this and get the location and make vector 2D like this. And connect the Y also, yep. Okay, the next thing we have to do is get player controller like this and get viewport size and now let's get from here and prune eight like this now let's check if this is greater actually what This okay, it should work. Uh, player controller. Oh, I forgot to divide it by two. So divide by two, like this. Yeah. Okay. Now let's check if this is bigger than this. If it is, let's put a branch here and like this. Okay. If it is, let's create a variable touching underscore right because you only want it to turn on or turn true if you're touching the right half of the of the screen. So yeah, turn it like this. And then we have to get this also and promote it to a variable like this. Let's clean this a little bit. Okay. Now let's connect this and call this touch start pause. Okay. Now from the mood actually move this a little bit more here so it looks a little nicer okay now we have to we have to check if we are touching right like this 
if we all we have to actually get this again promote it to a variable like this like this and let's call it touch and post okay and now let's get the starting post like this and let's subtract from this okay and now let's split this now we need this let's move this here okay now let's actually um multiply multiply this with a variable that we will call swipe or look sensitivity look sensitivity and let's put the default value 0.1 okay now same for the uh, y multiply and with same same variable this is just for you can so you can change the sensitivity later now let's connect this to here and now we have to again we have to make the start pause to end pause like this and one more thing we have to um, after released we have to make this like false again okay and let's check if it works um what did i do oh i did i forgot to connect this okay it should work yeah we can move we can look up and down left and right yeah but we cannot use this part here like this side of the stream so we, if we go over this side it starts to move okay all should be done for this video um yeah let's see you on the next one bye